Justice E. Jamal Juku of the Federal High Court, Abuja, has struck out the seven count charge previously brought against human rights activists Omoyele Shoore and Olawale Bakari by the Nigerian government at the ongoing trial on Thursday. The move follows the amended charges filed against them by the government. The prosecution had earlier on Wednesday dropped charges bordering on money laundry, terrorism, and cyber stalking President Muhammadu Buhari against Shure. The activists pleaded not guilty when the fresh charge of attempting to bring down Buhari's government through revolution was read to them. The counsel to the Nigerian government, Aliyu, made the updates in the charges against Shure known to Justice Ijoma of the Federal High Court in Abuja on Wednesday. Ali also disclosed that the federal government has dropped uh, uh, money laundry and cyber stalking cases against the Sahara Reporters Publisher. The fresh charges against Shore, according to the federal government's counsel, is an attempt to overthrow the president Muhammadu Buhari led administration through revolution under the aegis of Coalition for Revolution, tagged Revolution Now. Honestly, this whole thing is really laughable. I don't know why the government does not want to even back down and face governors. They are just chasing shadow. To me, all of these things are just, they are just chasing shadow. From the beginning, everybody knows what is obtainable. They know what is obtainable. Now, why are they dropping uh, the issue of money laundry? I thought they said they went to his account and they went to Dubai to go and check uh, those who have been sponsoring him. He went to Dubai. That was where they met. And what have you? That is to tell you all of the things that they've been talking about. You know, they are all lies. They are all lies. Now they are dropping the charges of a cyber stalking the president again. They are not even talking about insulting the president. Now they say through the coalition for revolution, uh, tag revolution now, that he wanted to overthrow the government. It's very laughable. Why is this president doing this to himself? Why are the people surrounding him embarrassing the president? Instead of them to face governor, see what is happening now. All over the place, everybody is now calling for their for his resignation. The embarrassment is too much. The hardship is too much. The insecurity is another level. On a daily basis, people are just fed up with what is happening. Instead of them to face it, they are still with this uh, Shuores case. They are still with this two cases, and now they are dropping the charges. Why? Why are you dropping the charges? Because you know they know that there is no truth concerning this at all but thank god now that all the another seven charges the new ones they try to amend they have been struck out by the by the courts because you cannot build on lies you can't build on lies because somebody just asks for good governance because asks for your resignation people who have been calling for the resignation and resignation, what does that tell you is it not the same thing that oh they want the president president to leave whether you use a revolution, whether you use, uh, use uh, the word resignation, they mean the same thing. But they want to turn it because they want to turn it to something else because they themselves, the president um, is used to this kind of uh, you know, overthrow, no overthrow. If person one overthrow person, now this is a beer hand, they overthrow person. Do, you, do they announce it? I think the best for them to even drop all the charges against him. They should drop all the charges against him. They think by so doing that it will serve as a deterrent to other people, that people, others will be afraid not to even come and tell the government the truth. But can, you can imagine a lot of people coming out now. Okay, now if you think that people cannot uh, people cannot come out or you are trying to intimidate people not to be able to come out to protest against you, thank God for social media. Thank God the way people are speaking from a, a different parts of the world. People are speaking. You cannot tell me that you want to go and tell them to you want to establish a hate speech in uh, other countries. You can only do that in your country, which is not even possible in the first place. So people are speaking. People don't even need to come together. People are speaking left, right, and center. People are speaking on what is happening. People are making references to what has happened before, what is happening now. People are speaking. They don't even need to come together and begin to, to, to tell you what or begin to match on the streets. People from the corner of their houses, they are saying this and the whole world is hearing the old world is hearing. So if you think that uh, by doing this, other, others will not want to come out. Others will not want to say anything. No. You are deceiving yourself. What they need to do now, face governance. You guys should lock yourself. If you really have the interest of the country at heart, if you know that you are genuine with this call for you to serve the country, 
lock yourselves inside and tell yourself the home truth. If you don't have what it takes, get the services of people who can really help you out. Why is it that when it comes to the end of all this, they, are ten or, they, they tend to lose focus? They tend to lose focus. When it, when it gets to a, a, very, uh, uh, to, you know, a very good stage, they just lose track. Or does it mean people have been trying to, okay, let us see what will happen and people are just looking because once they come in, they will be telling you, oh, uh, people are just coming in, they are just coming in, this government is just coming in. They just give them some time so that they will be able to see what is happening. Why is it that people are so in a hurry? I think that was one of the reasons. But when it got, gets to a point that people now say, no, 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 we have given you guys enough time and yet you are not doing anything, you are not doing anything differently. I think that is why when it gets to some certain stage, people tend to come out and they hit comes out uh, it comes out the more on them i think that's why it's always like that because people always try to say okay let them just give them some chance so that they will be able to put themselves together but they give you one year two years three years four years ah no 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 P even the third year people will start complaining but those are the uh, uh tricks they use they will say oh we are no magicians we're just coming in Nigerians are just too in a hurry they want things to turn around oh 100 years of uh, some parties uh, is true that is what we are still clearing and you are you guys are enjoying you know it's not affecting your family it's not affecting your salary it's not affecting anything but the, the people who are really affected they are still suffering you are not making any provision down but your the provision for you to get your salary and among us allowances are there untouched untouched it will not be tampered with then you can because you are you are overfed you are good to go you everything is fine for you you have that time to be telling people who oh, be be patient or oh, be patient but people who are saying who are saying that they can't be patient they are going through a lot of things in every as aspect you can think of so the best thing is for them to lock themselves up and 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 know what to do and know the right thing to do if really they don't have ulterior motives if they have genuine minds to save to do the right thing they need to lock themselves up and begin to know how to move this to move this country forward all this issue what is say is inconsequential they are supposed to have dropped everything they just have to drop everything because it's going nowhere it will go nowhere the more they try to intimidate other, other people the more other people are getting the heat People are not talking of revolution, but the revolution is going on in, in individually. Different quarters, people are coming out. Even the same people who are from the north, who never wanted to say anything, now they're beginning to say. And now the president has turned around to blame them that they are the cause of their calamities. You can imagine that. So if they have people who they can listen, who can really advise them, they should tell them to drop all these charges. It will, not, it will do no, them no good at all. It will not help them in any way. Instead, they will continue to be falling, falling anyhow, falling Yakata and embarrassing themselves. That's just the way it is. And meanwhile, the court has already told them to even uh, pay him 200,000. Eh? Over trial delay, 200,000. That one's even, it's, it's even a peanut in the first place. But what does that tell you? Meaning that they are not even ready for this whole thing. Like a uh, uh, Falano has been saying that this government is not even ready to prosecute him they, they are not even ready for trial you can imagine they've started dropping cases you know so what were they looking for they were just trying to put as many things they they, they could just to nail him down it's not gonna it's not gonna work like i said let them face governors let's face governors governance is more important than this uh, case that they are pursuing they are just looking for all manner of ways just to defend themselves to justify all these their actions which is not going to help them you know, it's just like uh, everything is just opened. Those who have been defending them have co are coming out to say, no, ah, we can't defend this. You know, there's a limit to what one can defend. It's shameful. It's embarrassing. There's a limit to what you can defend. Things that are so glaring. Unless you don't have conscience. Unless you have a, you know, something is wrong somewhere. If something is not wrong somewhere, no one will be supporting what is, you know, openly, you know, or is, that is really open to everybody, glaring to everybody. Anyone who is in his right senses will know that I can't be defending what is not. The whole thing is just there. Like, we, no, no, he has already turned again to say, oh, the people are the one causing the whole thing. He will blame this one. He will blame this one. He will blame everybody, but not him. They will never accept what. So, guys, uh, let us uh, hear your, uh, your own take concerning the 
the charges that the court has already struck out against uh, Shiwore, the order say new charges the government brought again against the man, but the court has already struck them out. So let's hear your take. Leave your comment below and let's have your take. Bye.